and here we are in Moscow. It's a city that's hard to define. I would say there are two different lives going on in Moscow. In these videos, I'm going to show you some interesting restaurants and a beach. I'll show you a city that can amaze any visitor to the Russian capital and which is rare, can also delight your partner too. Of course, in Moscow, the number one restaurants are Novikov Group and Ginza Project. Even so, recently a number of locations have appeared which aren't part of either of those two empires. For example, near Metro Tverskaya, there is a complex of three restaurants under the Maison Dallas brand. The restaurant we are looking at now is named Turandot. Enjoy its atmosphere. If you're a fan of oysters and want to try them in Moscow, this is the place to come. They are inexpensive here, around 150 to 260 rubles per oyster. Compare that to the Novikov Group restaurant Bolshoi, which is next to Tsum, where one oyster goes for 500 rubles. Or another comparison with Ervin, Rika, More, Akian, one of Moscow's most popular restaurants, where oysters sell for between 480 and 800 rubles each. Even so, it's worth trying their particularly delicious Kamchatka crab. 1,800 rubles buys you a very generous portion. Overall, Irvin is Moscow's main fish restaurant and the largest, sitting 230 diners. Their menu offers a huge choice of seafood. Langoustines, crayfish, crab, scallops, chia from Chukotka, Baikal omul, and different kinds of caviar. I'm not going to list their prices. You can see their whole menu on their website. One of the most remarkable things about this restaurant is the way that girls dress there. You might find ladies in long dresses or with a decoration of feathers on their shoulders. It's a fascinating atmosphere, like something from a movie. It's a restaurant which clearly positions itself as catering to Moscow's golden youth. The average bill for one person runs at between 3,000 and 4,000 rubles. It means Dear girls and ladies, that if your interests run beyond merely eating deliciously, but also having the chance to dress up in your finest, this is the place for you. You won't look out of place here, no matter how glamorous your dress might be. However, there are limits in almost everything, and there are dresses, and there are dresses. Another amazing place has an aquarium where the floor ought to be. Arkady Novikov's restaurant, Sirena. It's a place that will astonish anyone, and the oysters aren't overpriced here. And the oysters aren't overpriced here either. Around 200 rubles per oyster. The crab here is excellent too as you'd expect in a fish restaurant. The Chaihana No. 1 chain of restaurants is slightly less priced than Sirena, Turandot and Irvin. At several of these chain's restaurants, they offer oriental dancers by way of entertainment. Now here, in case there are any foreigners tuning in to this video, is some authentic Russian show. You can fall in love with the Russian winter. Moscow also has many parks, lakes and pools in many locations. 
No discussion of Moscow would be complete without a mention of this beautiful convent church of Matrona of Moscow, located near to Taganska metro station. Even people who are not Russian Orthodox believers stop by here to pay their respects to the icon and the holy relics. They say that many people have experienced healing or guidance after visiting. While you are nearby, there's a nice low-priced cafe where you can relax after the stress of Moscow life. It's known as trapeznaya or refectory, and dishes like this herring salad go for around 80 rubles. Traditional borscht soup costs around the same. All of the dishes are prepared by the nuns of the convent. Now this one isn't a Novikov's restaurant, but it's also right in the center of Moscow. It's called La Provincia. And if you fancy crab, a portion here is around 1,800 rubles. During the summer, one place I love to come is Shore House, another Novikov's restaurant. It's right on the Moskva River waterfront. There's an area with a swimming pool adjacent. There's also the Yacht Club, another of Moscow fashionable summer venues. Nearby, there's the Krakos Expo Exhibition Center with its metro station. But frankly, I would suggest coming here by car or taxi. There is no problem parking here. The entourage here in summer is very fashionable. The beautiful swimming costumes and girls in high heels. You feel like you've arrived at a beauty contest. I took a female friend of mine there. Once she'd visited, she decided she needed sign up at a sports center and a beauty salon too. The entrance fee for this beach is between 1,500 and 2,000 rubles on weekdays, but 3,000 rubles at weekends. Prices which don't include any food or drinks. There are changing rooms located near the swimming pool. For your convenience, you can go swimming, enjoy something to eat while sitting on your sound lounger. Then get yourself together and head for their restaurant, which is just 30 meters from the pool. I have even taken my dad there. He's 70 and he was absolutely delighted with it all. If you're after a different kind of entertainment, you can find it right on Arbat Street. If you look in the pedestrian underpass, there's a continuation of my review of life in Moscow in part 2 and part 3. <laughs>